Europe's doing better. France and Portugal's economies are strengthening. Ireland have come out of their adaptation program and Spain's bank reform program they will leave shortly. But the recovery is still very fragile and there are those that haven't implemented the structural changes that we so badly need to get uh, the countries going again in the euro area and, and also in the wider single market so we can tackle the problems of uh, um, unemployment and especially uh, youth unemployment. The Commission has uh, perhaps fallen back a bit. The European Parliament has done well in financial regulations, but the big winner is the European Central Bank now with its twin role of setting the interest rates but also overseeing the banks of the 6,000 banks within the euro area. And the star player has been Mario Draghi, who is the governor of the uh, bank, the, the European Central Bank. And when he said that he will do whatever it takes for the euro to survive, then the markets changed and matters have progressed and increased from there. One other group which is really important is the Euro group headed by Dutch Finance Minister uh, Jerome Dijsselbloem. And he heads all the finance ministers of the Eurozone and they are becoming increasingly influential in making decisions about the Eurozone, the Euro area, but also about the European Union's 28 member states. George Osborne as Chancellor always said that we would suffer whilst uh, the European Union economy uh, was suffering. But now matters are changing and emerging. Uh, we stand to benefit from the upturn. However, my committee is very worried that there is the fear that as the European Union 18 members of the Euro area work closer together, that we Britain remain isolated and less influential than we have been in the past. We must stay close to Europe. We must use our financial expertise found here in the City of London to ensure that we still maximise our British influence on decisions that are made in Brussels affecting all the 28 members of the single market. But my fear about the isolation may be realised in the Europe European parliamentary elections in May if we fail to get some of the important posts, especially the economic chairs in the European Parliament that will be there for five years. One other function of the Parliament is to choose the new European Commission. Again, we must have an important portfolio, an economic portfolio, like finance or trade, to ensure that Britain's voice rings out in the future as we develop the single market of 28 member states working together.